Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to Axel's Garage. All right, I got a doozy for you today. We're out here with my Suburban, and as many of you who've been watching the channel for a while know, this is our, our workhorse, our spare vehicle, our, our pickup parts vehicle, our take it on a trip when we have the whole family with us because it's the only vehicle that fits everyone in the family, and we really like it. We've you know, used the shit out of it. 180,000 miles, second transmission, nothing other than normal maintenance and your normal, you know, front wheel bearings, things like that, that have gone wrong. Um, really love it. And about uh, a year ago, we did uh, side swipe a, a Jersey barrier on the highway when uh, I fell asleep at the wheel, towing a trailer loaded with quads, and we kind of scraped the whole side of it up nothing horrible i mean it was horrible to me because i love this truck but it was nothing really horrible we had to realign the doors and you know it was scraped up but it's an old truck you know the rockers are starting to rot out the s end is rotting out because the the original owner of the car who had it for about four i think i bought it about four years old so the original owner uh towed a boat dipping the s end in salt water all the time so the s end is a little a little rotty um and the rockers are, are shot but um my daughter borrowed the car and returned it like this. Um, she got into a, uh, a one of those multi-chain reaction pileups and uh, tagged somebody with the front end. I had to put some duct tape on it to hold the headlights on and I was able to assemble the parts to hopefully well, what I think to get it done and you know I started looking for fenders and and bumpers and grills and stuff like that and I Rock Auto had the fender brand new for 105 bucks the catch was once I put it in my cart and went to check out the shipping was four hundred and fifty dollars for a hundred dollar fender grill Rock Auto had it for seventy five dollars except the shipping was two hundred and fifty dollars for a seventy five dollar grill so I resorted to Craigslist and Facebook marketplace was able to find everything for for about 250 bucks. I had to get new uh, lights and new buckets behind it where the lights clip into, and hopefully that's all I need. Um, really breezy today, so this is a good test of our new windsock on the mic, and I'm going to start tearing into this and hopefully get it back to a little bit of its former glory. We're starting out on the grill. Um, it's been a while since I've had this grill off, but I think we got to take this plastic uh, cover off, which has got sort of like a Christmas tree type of clip that's got a little groove cut in it for a screwdriver, and you pop up the center cap, and that releases the clip. I don't know when GM started using these, but they're pretty common if you... If you have ATVs, these are the kind of clips that they use to hold the plastics on, on your ATVs. All right, so with this off, Looks like we can get it to grill. Looks just like some kind of push clip. Oh, the grill's got some kind of quarter turn clips over here. Let's see if I can show you. So on this side of the grill, it's just like a little quarter turn Phillips. Almost feels like it's it's cracking, but it's got two of them, one on either end. And it's got a big screw in the middle. I don't know. We'll uh we'll see as we go. Alright, so that was the 10 millimeter top. And on the bottom, it looks like it's got those little quarter turn clips like the top does. There's a clip that holds it in on the sides. Alright, 
and all of my accessory stuff here is turning out to be a freaking pain in the ass. Probably one of the first times I've ever had a little impact work on a flat blade or a little screw. All right, and we got the grill out. All right, so now we can access the top two bumper bolts. So there's our nut that came off. Let's hope the bottom ones are the same way. That'd be kind of neat. Actually, go in this way, so you might be able to get at them from the top, which would be pretty, pretty neat. Side bracket on each side. Oh, yeah. that's the ticket. There's a little curvy bracket with a bolt on each side. My little curvy one looks like it might be a little bent too. I think my install problem is going to be on this side where the bumper went back. That curvy bracket looks a little bent. I might be able to bend it back. We'll see. All right, so. Oh, there we go. I'm trying not to do that. Oh, at least this is off for now. still work. Hook it right there. This is the piece that holds all the headlights in. You can see it's cracked and broken on this side here. So we did get a new one of these. I did not get a new one of these. Um, I bet I could reuse this one. It doesn't look I mean, it's a little twisted, but there's the hole right there where the clip is supposed to go to hold it in. It's probably just like a Christmas tree clip if it popped out that easy. So, I'm betting we could use this over. So, we're going to get this out. These look like tablets. All right, so this plastic, the, the headlight bucket, I guess you would call it, which is, which is this piece here. 
um, some 10 millimeter bolts and a couple of T25 torques and it comes out and attaches to this um, rain flap with Christmas tree clips that could not get out so we just want to cut them off. <coughs> we'll use some <coughs> Christmas tree clips if we have them. But my problem now is everything in the front is off. But here's the real issue. This box right here is attached to the fender and the only way to get it pulled off is stalker. The only way to get it off is to take the battery out and if you've been watching <laughs> me for a while with this vehicle it's a pain in the ass to get all the monitors to come in and they did come in over the course of the last year I did get a check engine light on for a while but for the last knock wood for the last month or two it's we've been driving it and it's been rock solid and the inspection is due the end of March March 31st and we're at like middle of March what are we 10th 11th 12th March 12th today so I don't know if I want to disconnect the battery um, I gotta get the the plug-in inspection so maybe I just get this together enough to drive it over to the inspection station hmm I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna put the headlight bucket in get the headlights in and drive it over to the inspection station um, get the get the ODB2 plug in it for emissions because all my monitors are in and then replace the fender because to, to replace the fender um, this whole the battery's got to come out and this is the whole fuse power junction for the whole vehicle this has got to get disconnected off I'm not sure where we left off I was working and talking and when I looked at the camera the camera was dead, the battery had gone dead, so I'm sitting here talking to myself. Anyway, as everything was coming off, great. Um, we got all the broken parts off, except for the fender, everything in the front, and I put the new headlight bucket in, and then we were going to start tearing into the fender, and the fender looked fairly straightforward, although you do have to remove a lot of stuff on the inside. Um, you could hear the women cackling in the background, it's my wife and the other moms. Anyway, as I'm looking at the fender, we realize this, and I'll show you. The battery and this box has to come out, and this box is the fuse, the fuse distribution and all the electronic dis distribution for everything. And to get this out, you got to disconnect the battery. So that's our problem because if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know with this vehicle, I have an issue with the monitors coming in, and it takes a, a couple of months to get them all in. So the inspection is due at the end of the month, which is about two weeks. And I'm like, if I take this fender off now, these monitors are not going to come in in time, and we do need to use the vehicle. So we changed the game plan, and the game plan was let's get the headlights in, and let's get all the lights in, and everything functioning, so we can close the hood up, go get it inspected, get it inspected, and then once it's inspected and I got that new sticker and I can take this all out which will take the battery out and this this distribution panel out get the fender off put the new fender on then I could put the bumper on the grill on and at least I know that I'm already inspected I don't have to worry about disconnecting the battery and letting you know months go by before the there's like two monitors that just will not come in it takes it takes months so I buttoned it all up I got the headlight buckets in got the new headlights the new marker lights in uh zip tied everything else out of the way the uh the fog light harness is down here i zip tied out of the way we did have to uh bend away a corner of the fender because it was just crunched in you can see right here it's wrinkled it was crunched in so we in order to fit the headlights so we got the headlights the only thing we need to adjust the headlights and we'll do that when it gets stocky use a t15 torx And 
right here in the top of the headlights you got an adjuster screw here which I think sends the light in and out this way and down in this hole here is another adjuster just like that with a T15 and that will tilt it up and down and give you a height uh, adjustment so we'll go find a dark wall somewhere where, when it, where when it gets dark and just even it out with that headlight that'll that's gonna get you right in the ballpark of where you need to be then we'll get it inspected I don't think I left anything besides a razor blade in the engine bay and we'll get it inspected and then I'll take you through the process of uh, taking this this power box out, the battery, and hopefully getting this fender off, and you guys could figure it out along with me.